Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Europa Unisail as far as Brandenburg, aka Prussia. Uh, in the last episode we took Denmark's capital and a bunch more of the land because we moved our trade node up to Lebec and we want more and more of this trade node because money, and money is nice. Uh, we are also uh, had our heir die, which, oh yeah, our leader die, and then got a new king who is Craven, which makes our armies worse, which is actually you know problematic uh and then our air is not it's not that good a zero three six i mean he's not terrible and admin points is by no means the things we're struggling for most but at the same time really that's pretty bad uh so i may i may spend some prestige to get rid of our air. i may we'll see how we feel in a few few months uh I'm surprised our power projection is still low, but I guess we are messing with our rivals, which is kind of the problem. And it would be nice to get that up for the bonuses, but we're, we're okay. And advocate if you're 15 years old. Wait, our ruler is six years old? No, he's age 15. Oh, wait, our heir. Our heir is 15 years old, and our heir is maybe we keep our air even though he's not good i don't know pick out diplotech enable better ships actually while we're here while we're all docked let's upgrade everyone for better ships since we just unlocked you know better ships seems like good timing i don't i don't want to get rid of our air but boy our leader sucks and it would be more maybe more useful to advocate Oh, I don't know what I want to do. It's not that big of a deal, but I don't know what I want to do. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna see where it goes. When indecisive, don't act. That's not a good policy, but it's often what I do. Uh, we have so much military power, and we are seven years. Yeah, seven years ahead in military tech. Which being ahead is useful, but being crazy. You know what? Whatever. We'll be crazy ahead in military tech. Oh, we get better troops out of this too, which is useful. Uh, improvements in production technology, spare no expense. Uh, no, we'll go slow. I don't need the admin power. We'll take the better infantry. Which one do we want? The better at attacking, the better at defending. Or the, you know what? We'll take the even, the line infantry. I don't get hung up on that too much. I have to take the defensive one because I have to try and force defensive fights, but... You know, that gives me options, and then I don't need to worry about thinking about it. We have better cavalry, too. Uh, what do we got here? A balanced, better attacking, or slightly, well, slightly less balanced. That's kind of an odd one. We'll take the, the fully balanced. Everything will be good. Cruces expiring, which a bunch of people in 82 so two years that's fine i don't think anyone's stacked up against us which is good uh let's take a look at coalition uh bohemia hates us and that's just never going away saxony help hates us and that's just never going away these people however may be manageable uh, let's take a look. How's that election? Oh, Glasgow is no longer voting for us. Rude. Rude. Military divided. The forts are our strength or siege. We'll take siege ability. Yeah, only two of our vassals are now voting for us, which is now four of them are voting for us. Interesting. So as it is right, let's pause. As it is right this moment, if the... A uh, leader of Bohemia was to die, I would become, uh, or we would become the emperor, the Holy Roman Empire game, which would A, get us back into the empire, which would be nice, B, the emperor, and then we would finally have access to this mission tree. Why, why am I clicking everything except for mission? Uh, over here, where we have to become the emperor. 
Less than one province in the empire under the control of non-member state. That's going to be a hard one to get. And I'm curious how it's going to work because I have lots of conquer ones too, which require me to take land, which I have not taken yet. But, you know, one step at a time. One step at a time. For now, I think we just need to chill. Our manpower is... Oh, our manpower is capped. That's good. Maybe we don't need to chill. Maybe we need to aggressively expand. Glasgow is our vassal. We don't need to go after them. Who do I have claims on? Who are you allied with? Everyone. But no one's scary. Hmm. Well, how, uh, how old is Bohemia's leader? 15. That's a disappointing. Not going to die anytime soon. I might actually not need to sabotage Bohemia's reputation. Might be more useful to hang on to my uh, diplomat for other reasons. But we're going to keep going with it. It was our goal. I'm kind of curious to play around with it. We lost some spy network, it looks like, from uh, in Austria, which is disappointing. Because I do, I do want to try and break up England in Austria. That's just a terrifying... Terrifying. Yeah, diplomatic re reputation. That's what I was talking about in the last episode and then couldn't find it. Uh, the diplomatic relation is giving a 55% bonus there. So if we can sabotage that, that would be beneficial to us. Uh, we caught all these, which is nice. And start getting the autonomy down, which will be good. Uh, let's get these back out doing trade things. So create new units. Get rid of all the not trade ships. We'll go park those. Yeah, just to get them out of my way. And then let's split great new unit. We'll move, actually, you know what? No, close. We'll just split these in half. And we'll send you tech trade in the Baltic Sea. And come back to port in war. And life is good. And then you will protect trade in the North Sea. Nova. Novagrad is plus 4.84 in profit. So we'll do that actually. And go back to Port and War. And then the Navy that was only 14. We will build one more frigate. And we actually have the ability to expand our fleet quite a bit. I'm thinking. A proper fleet is maybe a good idea at this point. Like, actually, combat ships. Uh, we'll hold off, hold off a little bit, though. But I think that might be might be the route to go. Military access. Sure. Ooh, local militias. Many mil military duties are not performed by the professional armies of the crown, but rather by local militia based around the cities, castles, and forts in various parts of our country. These military... Militias often known, know the local area well and provide very good value for money as garrison scouts, gathering intelligence, etc., etc. It is suggested that we send professional soldiers to at least instruct all militias in the country that we rely less on them when conducting operations in the area. Uh, we need the militias, lose professionalism, or let us not rely on local ability, lose a bunch of manpower, but gain professionalism and fort defense. Ooh, lose manpower recovery speed for 10 years. That's a bit more of a hurt, but we have committed to a fully professional army. That's just what it's going to be. So we'll take that option. We'll live with 10 years of slow manpower recovery. Uh, all of you can have access. I don't know what the wars are. I don't really care. Your wars are your problem. What's the Ottomans up to? Nothing interesting. A national bank in trouble. Uh, support them or gain inflation. Well, oh, that's so much money. We'll take the inflation because we have no inflation. And then we'll immediately spend some diplo to drop it down because inflation hurts the economy slightly. Uh, yeah, and our diplotech's doing fine now. It's on par. That was fine. 
they'll have one too many diplomatic relationship, but I'm not really in a position to do anything about that. I have, I need my fall vassals, and I don't want to give up my friendship with France or the Ottomans. So that's just how it's going to be until we can expand upon it or not. Oh, I forgot we had an economy here that we needed to be putting points into. And we don't have an economic advisor. Uh, we will take... National unrest could be handy. Don't really need it, though. Like, we, we can handle the unrest. Production efficiency, help our economy. Go with that. Okay, cool. That'll be good. Uh, our legitimacy is still terrible. How is... I think when our air is, I think even though our air doesn't have good admin and is arguably worse in that way to not deal with the um, Craven, which makes our armies worse. 5% morale, that's actually pretty hurtful. Uh, Navy tradition, helpful. So let's actually do that. Let's build, what do we want? So we can build galleys, which are better at fighting inland seas, which is this area, or uh, heavy ships, which are better in open sea. We should build some heavy ships. Let's get five, six heavy ships, and we'll take five more galleys, because honestly, a lot of what we'll do is probably inland seas, and we'll take three more transports, so we could move 10 ships if the need happens. Flush out our fleet just ever so slightly. Who's got disrupted successions? Scotland, Sweden, Sweden. Interesting. One of our vassals does. Do we have a marriage with them? No, we should get that. Oh, our spy networks. Okay. Exciting, exciting. Uh, so we will sabotage Bohemia's reputation which gives a minus three Diplo rep. That's pretty good. Awesome, and pull back our spy. And that should help secure... Wow, Bohemia is rated at minus 1,000 points, not eligible. I couldn't have hurt them that badly. Yeah, no one's voting for Bohemia, oof. Okay, cool. I'm pretty sure that throne's mine now, just uh, as soon as the time goes by. Uh, what else am I trying to do here? I need... Oh, other one. Actually, we'll let that diplomat come back, so I don't forget. We'll come down here. Get this royal marriage. Just in case this guy dies. He's only 29, but if he does, we'll take the throne. And then we will damage your reputation. Minus three diplomatic reputation, which I'm hoping will. Ooh, it did boost the liberty desire. It's at 46%. It's so... Mm, at 50%, we can support their independence, which basically means that problem goes away. So we're close. We're not there. I'm curious if we can save up. We can't do it twice. Interesting. I wonder how else we can encourage. I wonder how much we can encourage it. Uh, hmm. I wish we had 27 Diplotech to aggregate for, uh, for Liberty. Okay, we'll have to monitor that because if it gets to 50, we want to support them immediately. Nothing would be better. So we'll just keep Austria's uh, rep down. I think that's the key there. That's Bohemia's king. <laughs> they really hate us. 17. So young. Very disappointing. Oop, another place converted. Keep, keep going on that train. Oh, one of our leaders died. I didn't notice that. Oh, excellent. General. Just fantastic. 5-4-3-3. Three, three. Oof. 
love it. Should probably be diving ourselves back into a war soon. What's Russia up to? Russia is just continuing to pick on the little guys. I get it. I get it. I'm surprised. Ooh, the Orient are going after Ming? Interesting. I hope one of those gets big enough that they can start to challenge. Oh, the Ottomans. The Ottomans can challenge Russia. 402k. That's disgusting. And one day, a problem for us. For today, incredibly helpful to us. But one day, absolutely a problem. What is France? How's France? France is going to be a problem for us one day too, because they're going to have a bunch of land that I'm going to have to take back. But for now, our best friends. Probably if we ever freed England, we'd want to exchange friendship with England. England's actually more powerful. Give up our friendship with France for England, that would be the dream. Especially because as emperor, we need to regain uh, land of the empire, which France has. So inherently, we're going to end up having to go to war with France. Long term. Short term. Not our problem, but long term, a problem. The Empire is kind of, yeah, kind of in ruins, to be honest. We're not taking over a very powerful entity. They're not going to stop me from taking it over, but, you know, how is this war still going? Okay, there we go. Sweden just ended. Denmark does not have much of what we want. Now, out of curiosity, yeah, digging up into there would be good. Getting into the North Sea would be good as well. And the Baltic Sea. What's this one? The White Sea. Okay, so we should actually... Trade nodes. We haven't really been looking... We haven't really been looking at our trade nodes and seeing what we can do. Because we should be expanding our trade ports. And I haven't been doing that. So we'll expand that to level 2, which will be, give us a boost to trade, etc, etc. Expand this one to level 2? Oh, we can't. We can only upgrade a center of trade in a state. Oh, it's not stated. This should be stated though. Oh, that will bring us over our government capacity. Interesting. We need to raise our governing capacity then. Okay, well, we'll get back to stating it. What we really should do, and I don't want to spend the money right now, how are we? You're gaining 10 a turn, so that's good. We should probably upgrade our trade capital. To a level three trade port, which gives us 25% boost to trade power in that spot. Which, considering what is it, 7.3% of the power, it would help. 7.3 is pretty decent, and a 25% boost on that would be pretty decent. Not to mention the institution speed boost and local development boost, and more buildings, less naval decay. We'll try and save up for 2,000 gold and then do that. I do want to state that, but we got to we gotta boost our, what we can manage. I wonder if tech will boost that anytime soon. Yet. We'll get there. Uh, merchants suffering, give them support or absolutely, we'll give them support. That's fine. Fine. Military leader left us. We'll replace him immediately with a really good general. We're, we're doing really good on those. Well, Bohemia is getting bullied by someone. Too late to see who. I mean, probably with the truces. Probably got dragged into a war as emperor, if I had to guess. Wow, there's one less elector. Which means we have a significant advantage. We're two above... Well, yeah, we only need three now to get the empire... And we have four, so we're doing extra fine. Saxony really doesn't want to elect us. Weird. 
can't quite imagine why. Just need this guy to die. Oh well, he'll get there. We can invest in tech, that's nice. Get our diplotech ahead. Oh wait, we don't need it. None of that tech helps us. None of that tech helps us. A revolt. It's really funny, this place keeps up revolting, but they don't have enough rebels to do anything about it. Which we should take a brief moment, and we'll probably end after this. But let's take a look at our vassals, who all love us, which is good. All they all are religion. Yes, yes, yes. And have we... Do we have our relatives on the throne? On the ones that can, yes. Oh, no. Okay, place a relative on the throne. They'll be a little grumpy with us for a bit, but long term that gives us a boost. Oh, actually, they, they were so negatively with liberty desires. Even with a plus 25%, they have no desire to revolt against me. Minus 20% because of opinion. Minus 17 because of trust. Minus 10 because of our rep. Additional localist recruitment. Interesting. Cool. 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 Okay. Well, things are looking good. Uh, I don't quite know exactly where we'll go next. Probably expand some. Our, our title is odd. Uh, probably try and expand out some. Keep an eye. Let's just make sure England doesn't want the liberty yet. Down to 39. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out. Maybe I'll try and look up before the next episode how we can encourage that a little bit more otherwise we're just waiting for the tech and hoping that we never go to war with them which i don't think they will because france and the ottomans are terrified like i am protected by the ottomans 340k troops assuming they don't betray us which they might but i doubt they will at least for now uh anyway thank you everyone for watching and i hope to see you in the next episode